Next match, one foul with a 10-minute time limit from Marstown, Tennessee. Point. The Bushwhacker, I'll tell you what, David Von Erich. Uh, this young fellow, Tim Horner, trying to unbutton his jacket, and David Von Erich suddenly explodes on him. And it is Von Erich allowing no surcease on Tim Horner whatsoever. Caught him with a high knee lift. And he says he's been learning everything that he knows now from Dory Funk Jr. And that is a, a, a sorry commentary indeed, as Horner has had no chance whatsoever. The referee now, right, Horner has that jacket removed. The referee now calling for the bell, and is David Von Erich just all over this man. And Horner in a lot of trouble now. Von Erich brings him up. Von Erich has chosen uh, to idolize uh, Dory Funk Jr. and uh, as uh, well, what can you say about a bushwhacker? And that's exactly what he did to Horner. Horner trying everything that he can just to stay on his feet now as Von Erich continues to dominate the situation. Von Erich. completely dis disseminated by uh, David Von Erich. Horner, that is. And I, uh, Horner, hurtled outside the ring by David Von Erich. You see a young athlete like David Von Erich uh, using the tactics that he used, or that he uses, rather, it really makes you wonder. Horner beaten back into that uh, corner, caught again. And Horner fires back. Von Erich drives the knee into the side of the rib cage. A hard, slashing right hand to the side of the head. And it's bound. Horner that dropped Von Erich. Horner, Tim Horner dropped Von Erich and stunned him. And Horner will be well served to close in, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's got Von Erich in trouble. Tim Horner, and looked like it was all over for him suddenly. Back with everything he's got and what great fighting heart he's got here. Ooh. Went for the midsection. Von Erich twisted him to one side, caught him again, using a forearm now to the side of the head of Tim Horner. Tell you one thing you can uh, say about Tim uh, Horner. He is a, uh, a gutty, gutty individual. Trapped in a, what appears to be a rear chin lock. Difficult to tell from this camera angle, but nonetheless, it appears that's what he's holding on him. And so, Von Eric, and here's where you have to give this young fellow credit. He was stunned, and uh, he is uh, getting the respite that he needs. Horner now using that elbow, and Von Eric once again brings him back. The referee calling for the break on that one. to the midsection, the forearm to the side of the jaw, Von Erich catches Von Erich, the bushwhacker once again, and Von Erich could be in trouble here. Horner trying desperately now to take the measure on David Von Erich. And Horner, uh-uh, went up with a standing drop kick, but it was Von Erich. Just backed out is all he did, and uh, so Horner finding himself back on that canvas now, stunned and now. David Von Erich using the back of the elbow very effectively. Remember, the Iron Sheik is coming. The Iron Sheik will be here, so by all means, ooh, Von Erich caught him. Chops into the chest that you could hear all over the Sportatorium. And again, a savage forearm across the pectoralis majors, and it is uh, Horner in a lot of trouble now. Fires back, and boy, is he a determined young fella. The side headlock on David Von Erich. and one has to give him credit for very, very fast thinking. He cudgeled him in the back of the head. And, uh, well, there you see uh, Dory Funk Jr. And Dory Funk Jr. adding punishment now to Tim Horner from outside the ring. 
So there's the Bushwhackers mentor, Dory Funk Jr. Outside the ring, and you could hear David Von Erich saying something about, watch this, Mr. Funk. Wow, caught him with a size 14. Right flush in the face. Ah, oh, there is, a, he's giving the signal for that spinning toe. And this is something that uh, David Von Erich has been perfecting with Dory Funk Jr. Has the count, has the count. And uh, nobody can withstand that spinning toe.